Hey guys, this is Aris from teamandroid.com. In our previous video, I, was, I got around to installing the all new Android Q Beta 1 on the Google Pixel 2 XL. And I spent, a, I spent some time exploring the new uh, beta release uh, and explore around what new uh, features or changes Google has done in the first beta release of Android Q. So, so in this, so what I've discovered so far is there are a few new um, new features here and there throughout the OS. Uh, let me quickly show you a few of them. One is like the most the most apparent one is the new feedback app. This is a new uh, Android beta feedback app that Google want that Google has uh, bundled with the beta releases, and they want users or early adopters whoever uses the new beta release um, of Android Q on their phones to report back any issues they have or send any feature requests or if there are any any other feedback they want to just share they can do so using this app uh, what they can do is uh, they can uh, report an issue directly from here if you just open this you'll be able to add in a brief title you can attach any screenshots files dates uh, you can add in steps to reproduce the issue so that the google team the android team can can fix them um, you can add additional information uh, regarding the issue and the next is to next is the option to feature request you can uh, you can send in your feature requests or something you would like google to add into android uh, because this is the right time because the new android q is still in development and this this is when google can actually uh, uh, add in new features or take an account if what features are is, is like what features are most demanded by the public so yeah you can use this app to send new feature requests and you'll be able to see a list of everything down here here whenever uh, whatever you report or send to google all you have to do is just sign in with a google account and you'll be able to use these features then another fee another thing i just discovered uh, is the all new files app this was long due to be very honest uh, Google has been leave, like it, it. The app needed a new, a new UI for a very long time. So now, so now the new files app is according to the new Material Design 2 guidelines that Google has been following in all of their own apps. So the new UI is pretty neat. It has these big white spaces and everything is like really clean. Let me just quickly show you around. This is the camera folder. Functionality wise, I think it's still the same, but yeah, it has got a new fresh coat of paint. Let me quickly show you the the old files app. It's here on my Pixel 3. Let's quickly um, I have it somewhere here. Yeah, here it is. The files app. See, there's a big difference between the two, and I really love the new white UI. And yeah. So this was the new files app. Another thing I discovered, uh, two new features are inside the, um, the developer uh, relay, the developer options. Let me just show you. First, you have to just go, for those who don't know, you guys have to tap build number again and again to enable. You have to tap it seven times to enable developer options it's here in your settings and developer options yeah so I discovered a couple of new options here one is oh, sorry it's here at the bottom keep scrolling down so this is new option for um, forced desktop mode I'm not sure what it is I'll connect this phone to a desktop and see how that goes uh, but yes, there's this new option forced experimental uh, desktop mode on secondary dis displays. Maybe Google is working on a desktop mode for uh, for Android Q or I'm not sure, but we'll explore this. And this another feature I discovered is this theming option. So you see all these blue accent colors throughout the OS that you use, you'll now be able to change it. 
so for now there are only three colors if you feel like green more what you can do is you can just select green and here it is everything has been changed to green say it's all green now it's nice that Google is finally uh, rolling out new features for uh, or adding theme support into natively into the Android OS let me quickly show you uh, yeah developer options way at the bottom yeah I can go back to I can change it to black I can also change it to purple if I want I think these are just random colors uh, I hope Google releases this into the final release and uh, we'll have a lot of more color options to choose from we'll go with the default blue I love blue uh, you can even change uh, the font you know to serve or source yeah the font has been changed no oh, i think i'll go back with the default one and then this is option to uh, change icon shapes we have had this uh, in the previous releases so there's nothing new but yeah the accent color this is something new and the font options so this is this is what i've found so far uh, hope to find more new features as explore android q beta 1 so yeah this is it from my side Thanks for watching guys, bye.